Hello and welcome back. In this section we'll see what tools are required to build apps with Ionic. The main point of using Ionic is that we can develop our apps using HTML, CSS and JavaScript, right? So to get started you just need your regular web development tools, that is a web browser and a text editor. And this works on pretty much all platforms, so you can use Windows, Mac or Linux. I'll be using a Mac simply because that's the only platform where you can compile iOS apps, as we'll discuss shortly. As the web browser, I'll use Google Chrome. It may be slightly easier for you to follow the lectures if you use the same, but it's not a big deal. I'll use Sublime Text as my editor, but you can use your favorite one. Atom, Brackets, WebStorm, VI, Emacs, Notepad, that's entirely up to you. We're also going to need Node.js installed, because that's required by the Ionic command line interface. If you don't have Node.js already, you'll find a document in this section explaining how to install it. With these tools, we'll be able to create apps and run them in a web browser, but not compile and package them as native apps for Android and iOS. If you want to build Android apps, you'll also need to install the Android SDK. You don't need the full IDE that is Android Studio, and you obviously don't need to write Java code and all the rest, but you do need the SDK tools to compile and package an Android app, and then run the app in the emulator that's also part of the SDK, or on a real device. Thankfully, the Android SDK is available for all three major platforms, that is Windows, Mac and Linux. You'll find a document in this section with links to where you can download the Android SDK and various instructions. Compiling iOS apps is only possible on a Mac system, unfortunately. Some people actually manage to run Mac OS X as a virtual machine on a computer running Windows or Linux, but that's against Apple's policies, so it's not something I can recommend. You'll need to install Xcode and the command line tools that come as a separate package. Again, you won't need to write code in Objective-C or Swift, but you do need these tools to compile and package any iOS app. This also installs the iOS simulator, so you can try and run your app even if you don't have an iPhone or iPad. Again, you'll find a document in this section with links and instructions on installing Xcode and so on. Let me make it clear that you don't necessarily need to install the Android and or iOS tools right now. I've added all the instructions on the various tools in this section because it makes sense to have them all together. But you can start developing Ionic apps by using only the web technologies that we've seen in the first slide. So you can skip the Android and iOS SDK installation initially and start the next section anyway if you're keen to see how to build an app with Ionic. Then once we have our first app, if you want you can come back to this section and see the instructions on installing the Android SDK or the iOS tools or both depending on your requirements. So that's it for now, and in the next video lecture I'll show you how to install the Ionic command line interface. I'll see you later.